A new study sheds some light about overcrowding issues at the Danville City Jail. According to the study, the jail needs to be nearly twice as big. WSOS 10's Coulter Anstead spoke to Danville Sheriff today and explains what he would like to see happen. The Danville City Jail is currently 13% over capacity and 70% of the inmates are serving a sentence. While that's not ideal, Sheriff Mike Mondul says it's better than it was a couple of years ago when the jail had 355 inmates, even though it's only rated for 213. We literally have people on mattresses sleeping almost on top of one another in, in the jail cells. Still, even being just 13% over capacity poses safety concerns. Having more space and more opportunities to put people to keep them safe it reduces uh, the risk of inmate injuries, reduces deputy injuries, and increases deputy safety. He says informal discussions about the issue have been ongoing for a while between the sheriff's office and city council, but he's hopeful this new study, which looked at space needs for dozens of city departments, will help begin a more formal conversation. Sheriff Mondul would like to see the current jail expanded rather than build a new standalone facility because the current jail is directly underneath the courthouse, which keeps deputies and the public safer when inmates are being taken to and from court. City Council is working on developing a long-range plan to address the space needs of all departments. We thought about the money, where the money is going to come from. We've even thought about is there a tax increase, how much will the tax increase be? But we certainly haven't reached any conclusion. But the police department also needs some major upgrades, especially when it comes to security. And Mayor John Gilstrap says that may take priority over everything else. In Danville, Coulter and Stats, WSLS 10.